Vietnam, and I'm bringing a beer! Yeah. You know, I'd like to go over to Vietnam and track down all the boys in the neighborhood and just give them a beer. I'm gonna show them that this country is still behind them. Because I'm going to Vietnam, and I'm bringing a beer! Yeah! yeah. I was pretty blown away that this was actually based on a true story. No chance you have a ship heading to Vietnam. 1,700 hours. Tonight? It's the story of a guy in 1967 who, during wartime, brought beer to his friends in Vietnam, which is ludicrous, of course. Ta-da! <laughs> still can't believe you came all this way just to bring me a beer. It's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. I knew I had to play chicken. <laughs> I love the complexities and the emotions. I love the story of people learning and growing and embodying that. You're gonna get yourself killed over there. It's like you said, everyone's doing something. I'm doing nothing. Zac Efron, I've never worked with an actor who was more open. This is a very different Zac than I think people have ever seen. He's just gonna blow a lot of people's minds. You think this is funny? I'm not doing this for laughs. I'm doing it for you, for all you guys. Zac brought everything he could and gave everything he had to the role. And that was fun to be around and fun to be part of. What did you say your name was again? Chicky Donahue? Chicky Donahue is drinking on me. Oh! Russell Crowe plays a war correspondent who ultimately takes Chicky under his wing and helps him out and leads him in the right direction so he doesn't get his head blown off. Don't shoot! It's kind of a personal connection for me because my grandfather was, in fact, a war photographer. So it was a very personal thing for me to take on a character that did that sort of job. Why do you guys just report the bad stuff? That's what we hear back home. I mean, doesn't that hurt us? The truth doesn't hurt us, it's the lies. Russell's just the coolest. He's a hero of mine, huge hero of mine. I was amazed at some of the details that he was obsessed with. It was really fun to see his dedication to it. And I learned a hell of a lot from working with him. Smuggling beer into a war zone? That's not the smartest thing I've ever heard of. It's certainly not the worst either. That set was one of the most fun sets I've been on in many, many a year. It's very easy to work with Peter. Peter's one of the most interesting directors I've ever worked with. He doesn't specifically come at you with rules. He's never stuck in one thing. Boom, 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 a couple more. I can't imagine a better group of people to ultimately make this movie. Peter Farrelly came off of the success he had with Green Book to write and direct this. Just watching all of these incredible actors telling this story with humanity and emotion has been very fulfilling and exciting. <laughs> This film has a really big heart, and I think it's a really positive experience. I think people are gonna love this movie. Hey, Carlo! One more round! This really is a powerful, powerful story, and in some ways, it's it's never been more relevant, but it's so kind of carefully crafted and well-written that there's moments where you're gonna be crying, there's moments where you're gonna be laughing your ass off, and hopefully just transported into another time and, and place. <laughs> We're halfway home. Halfway? We're in no man's land. So, I'm okay with that. Be more. Their reaction. Sure. Okay. 
Ready, and background, action! So, what's the word? Trigon's under attack. Be a Conger everywhere. We got half a Toulon. We gotta get to the embassy. Forget it, they're fighting on every block of Charlie as the embassy. Cars are coming. Go and background. 